We start with the sad news that Derbyshire-based developer Eurocom has closed its doors and ceased trading. The independent studio were around since 1991 with some of its titles including James Bond Jr. on the NES, Duke Nukem Zero Hour on the N64 and 40 Winks on the PlayStation. In Brighton news, an attempt to bring a huge arcade full of old and new cabinets to the UK is underway and is called, fittingly, the Epic Arcade Project. The people behind the initiative are aiming for it to open in Edinburgh before the end of 2013 and are looking for funding through Kickstarter. A link to where you can donate to the project is in the description below. Next, the Neo Geo X handheld is now available to buy, and in related news, the Neo SNK Arcade MVS Magic Key is available to purchase too, and allows you to enter cheat codes on Neo Geo MVS and AES cards. Some footage for a cancelled Streets of Rage 4 prototype was also leaked last month, but its 3D visuals may not appeal to everyone. There's always the excellent fan-made Streets of Rage remake on PC though. Something that is well worth a look from last month is the latest effort from Game Soundtrack Remix Masters Overclocked Remix, reading several tracks from Donkey Kong Country 3 on SNES and GBA. David Wise, the man behind the original Donkey Kong Country soundtracks, has even contributed a few compositions. Best of all is that it's free to download. There are a trio of fan translations released last month too, including Nintendo Famicom RPG Momotaru Densetsu, aka The Legend of Peach Boy, Super Famicom Adventure Arabian Nights, Desert Spirit King, and RPG racer Koro Q2 on the PlayStation, an entry in what is known as the Penny Racers or Gadget Racers series of titles in the West. There have also been some notable new releases for Retro Systems in December, including a physical reproduction of unreleased Virtual Boy title Bound High, and free to download platformers Ridiculous Reality on Atari XL and XE, and Cheryl the Goddess for the ZX Spectrum. And now here's this month's quickfire section where I'll try to list all of last month's retro ports and re-releases. PlayStation 1 titles on PSN including Castlevania Symphony of the Night, the first three Spyro titles, Rapid Angel, Desimon Kids, and Um Jamma Lammy. Raiden Legacy on iOS, which contains the original Coin-Op and Raiden Fighters, Raiden Fighters 2 Operation Helldive, and Raiden Fighters Jet. Neo Geo titles Last Blade 2 and World Heroes 2 on Wii's Virtual Console. A remastered version of Broken Sword 2, The Smoking Mirror on Android. The original Metal Slug on iOS. PlayStation 2 titles on PSN, including GTA, San Andreas, Canis Cadam Edit. Midnight Club 3, Pacific Warriors 2, World War 2, Soldier, and Red Dead Revolver. A collection of 80s text adventures including the Zork series called The Lost Treasures of Infocom on iOS. A HD remake of Oddworld Stranger's Wrath on PSN for the PS Vita. Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition on iOS. A basic port of Final Fantasy 2 for Android. Final Fantasy 4 based on the DS reimagining on iOS. A high-definition version of Oddworld Munch's Odyssey for the PS3. A modern version of Jordan Mechner's Karataka on iOS. Finally, it was Mega Man's 25th anniversary in December, and to celebrate, Capcom released Street Fighter X Mega Man, a free-to-download PC title. As the name suggests, it's an 8-bit style crossover title starring the Blue Bomber and has you taking on several retroized Street Fighter characters. A brand new fan-crafted Mega Man title is also being made by a set of six developers, and the first demo for this is available to play on your desktop now. Happy birthday, Mega Man! That's all for this month then, but I hope you have a great new year, and please do join me for next month's episode, where I'll be summarising all that's new in the world of the old. James, go and prevent a confusion in the city.